फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट श्री डब्ल्यू एच खान लर्नड सीनियर एडवोकेट अपियरिंग फॉर द अपीलांट इन स्पेशल अपील नंबर फोर फोर नाइन ऑफ टू थाउजेंड इलेवन कंटेंडिड दैट द ऑर्डर ऑफ डिस्ट्रिक्ट इंस्पेक्टर ऑफ स्कूल्स वॉज लाइबल टू बी सेट असाइड ही सबमिट्स दैट देयर बींग टू राइवल क्लेमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग इलेक्शंस ऑफ द कमेटी ऑफ मैनेजमेंट डेटिड 31st October 2010 the district inspector of schools had no jurisdiction to adjudicate the dispute and he was obliged to make a reference to the regional level committee in accordance with the government orders dated 19 December 2000 and 20th October 2008 he further submits that the order of honorable single judge dated 1st December 2010 by which this court directed the district inspector of schools to re-examine the matter cannot confer jurisdiction on the district inspector of schools which was not otherwise available to him and the district inspector of schools ought to have considered the question as to whether he was competent to decide the dispute or reference to regional level committee was necessary he submits that the order of district inspector of schools dated 11th february 2011 deserves to be set aside by honorable single judge and honorable single judge add in note setting aside the said order shri sashi nandan assisted by shri arun kumar singh appearing for the respondent submitted that the district inspector of schools had full jurisdiction to decide the dispute he submits that according to the government order dated 20th october 2008 the district inspector of schools has been conferred with the jurisdiction to determine the claim of elections of committee of management and the order dated 11th february 2011 was well within his jurisdiction he further submits that the writ petitioner did not raise any objection to the jurisdiction of the district inspector of schools when the matter was being heard he further submits that in a writ petition filed by the writ petitioner challenging the order of district inspector of schools dated 3rd november 2010 no ground was taken that district inspector of schools had no jurisdiction to determine the dispute he submits that in view of the directions of this court dated 1st december 2010 the district inspector of schools has to determine the dispute and writ petitioner is not a stop from challenging the jurisdiction of district inspector of schools the submissions of learned counsel for the parties center around to the issue as to whether in the facts of the present case the dispute of rival claims of management could have been decided by the district inspector of schools or it was necessary for the district inspector of schools to refer the dispute before the regional level committee before we proceed to examine the above issue it is relevant to note the relevant provisions of the up intermediate education act 1921 as amended from time to time as well as the government orders issued by the state government the district inspector of schools under the statutory provisions of the up intermediate education act 1921 and under the up high school and intermediate college act 1971 had to perform various statutory functions 
in collaboration with the committee of management stock